Past Friday Shop Talk, everybody. I was busy back here doing the tweaking on my custom scales. Uh, it took a little bit longer than what I wanted to do, but at least the fixed blade knives in my display case are done. And now I just got that bottom row, or is it two rows? The bottom row of uh, folding knives that I did. Okay. I kept one out because I did a short video of it. I also threw it. And I think it came out awesome. It really did. When you see the before and after, there is a difference. And this is the K-Bar Becker BK-18 Harpoon Fixed Blade Knife, the Blackout. Got the sheath out of my, because uh, this is in my display case. I got that in my sheath drawer. I got a drawer full of sheaths. But yeah, I'm fixing to clean it up. And uh, that's, that's, that's why I use the WD-40. Get that sap off that's in that pressure treated wood. That wood is brutal. But anyway, I think the treads, there's my hardware on it. I just think it came out really great. Now, when you get this, when you order it, it comes in the tan, the Coyote tan. I call it Coyote can, desert tan, or it comes in this blackout. And the screws are, is a nut and bolt. And actually one side is shaped like the nut. Uh, actually both of them, I believe. So that's where it sits in, you tighten it up because the scales are removable. It states that when you get it. So anyway, it's Zytel handle and I like throwing, you know I do. So I, I wanted something a little bit more grippy. So I did the micarta. And then uh, not too long ago, I added the treading. And then today I tweaked it out. I tweaked it out I'm very pleased with it. So I did a short <laughs> video on it. I'll probably do this as my up close and personal along with another one. I'm going to do another uh, up close and personal. I just got to decide which one I'm going to do. Of course, I can always do the other one later. But yeah. And then today, while I was out there, yesterday I threw the uh, the SOG throwing knives. And I threw a lot longer than what the video is. You know, I can't be out there uh, just running the video forever. So anyway, today, uh, besides this, I threw this probably 50 times and that's after I fixed it up. Uh, I went inside to put the other knives up in the display case. I opened up my drawer because I wanted to get these two out that I'm fixing to show you. And these are right there sitting there. I don't know why they were sitting there on the top. They're usually buried. It's a Glock kind of day, I guess. <laughs> no, really, I didn't even plan on that. So I just grabbed them. Yeah, this is the Glock 81 field knife. And, uh, oh man. I bet I did about uh, 50 throws and then uh, came back in here, worked a little bit. And I went back there and did probably another 50 throws. Yep, just to unwind. The weather was beautiful. And these are so fun and they're budget friendly, guys. I mean, if you want to get a knife, I got all four flavors here. You got the green, the gray, the, the tan. And I got them about two years ago. The black one I got years ago. Okay, this used to sit in the back of my toolbox in the truck. It's just a great utility knife. Uh, I got this around the 30, 35 buck range, and I think they're still around that range, 35 dollars, maybe 35 or 40. Still well worth it. And if you want a knife, I always say that's a good way to do it, like I, like the seal pup. If you want, this is even better. Uh, bargain, 35 bucks. You got your utility knife trenching knife, polymer sheath, polymer handle. You see how chewed up when the blade hits it, but it keeps going through. Uh, and you got something that's super balanced and to throw. And it's a great self-defense knife. Absolutely. Very wicked. But I highly recommend them. This is the Glock 81s. Now, I don't have the 78. That's on my wish list. I miss, it. I miss out on it every once in a while. Um, and they're made in Austria. Just a great knife. Great all-around knife, period. Okay, then we got that. Now, these things, I'll tell you, what, I got knives. I got a lot of knives. This is one I'll go out on the limb and say I highly recommend it. I highly recommend these two. I got them on Amazon. The first one I got, it's like $100. But reading it, handmade, handcrafted in Spain... Uh, the sheath on it is just absolutely 
fantastic, one of the best leather sheathings I've ever seen. Uh, I did an overhead view video of it, so I won't go through all of it, except it is made in Spain, Micarta scales. I did do the bungee cord on the ferro rod. That's what I, I wanted to do. And you can see I've used it quite a bit. I did some uh, videos on starting uh, fires with it. And that's that M, yeah, MOVA 58 steel. So I might do that up close and personal. Although the next one I'm fixing to show you, this is my favorite, absolutely favorite. And it's the matching, it's like a matching set. This is around the $79 mark. This is the Celti Barrow CDS Knives, and this is the CDS Knives Exarchia. Scout Carry, this is also Scout Carry, or Belt Loop, and look at that. Don't even have to take your belt off. It just feels like a holster. I put conditioning on it, I did maintenance on it, and I polished that up. Actually, I polished this up after I did the video. I should've done the video first. It just has that flat grind. It's razor sharp, jipping. This is my favorite. And I'm telling you, I highly recommend this. You will not be disappointed. Now this one, I read up on it. This was designed in the USA and manufactured in Spain. They do just really hand, qual uh, hand special, great quality of craftsmanship. No doubt about it. So... I might even do it up close and personal on both of them. You know what I mean? All right, guys. It was a good knife day. I got the uh, tweaking out to do. I got mail call coming, but it's basically stuff to, like, screws. I got BPS screws coming in. That's what I like to use on my custom knives. I got two sets of slabs coming in, but one of them's not going to be here till Sunday. And uh, I got two blanks coming, and I think they're coming tomorrow. Uh... Is one coming today? Not sure. Anyway, y'all have a great evening. It's Fast Friday. I'm going to go put this stuff up. Uh, I got to do it up close and personal. And then I'm going to vacuum. That's right. I'm going to vacuum. Y'all take care and uh, sog out.